Today guys, I'm gonna be showing you how you can set up focus mode on your phone. This is actually quite crucial, specifically if you're getting bogged down by multiple notifications whilst you're trying to do your day-to-day -day work or maybe even trying to do some meditation. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so here I have my iPhone and the first thing we need to do is actually navigate over to the settings. I'm gonna click on the settings area and once we're in the settings page here, we're going to scroll down until we find this little area just here. Okay, so in here we have um, all of these options. Actually, it's a little bit lower, sorry. Um, this one just here where it has notifications, sound and haptics, focus and screen time. We're going to find the focus area and we're going to click on that one there. Now, by default, there are several different things that are actually in the iPhone already, such as do not disturb you guys probably know this one already reduced interruptions which sounds pretty good on the surface of it sleep and then there's two additional ones that are not actually set up which is personal and work so you can have different things set for different kind of times that you're looking for you also have the ability with a little plus icon at the top there to go ahead and add many more different options as you see fit now i'm going to set up the work one just here for things like this recording, for example. But feel free to obviously add as many of these as you want. You could have Zen, you could have meditation, you could, you kind of have what some for working out specifically, right? And it lets you customize the things that happen on your iPhone during the time when these are actually active. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on setup for work. Okay, this is work focus as you can kind of see here. So when you're working on a project or your kind of to-do list, you can get things done by silencing notifications or customizing your screens and apps. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna customize the focus here. Okay, now in here we get to silence notifications. This is the first area that is set up, right? Um, reduce interruptions by choosing the notifications that you want. So you could add people specifically or specific apps to the kind of allow list. Now I'm not going to add any here because when I'm working, I want no interruptions. We can also customize the different screens as well. We can have a different kind of home page, a different uh, page also for um, the actual, uh, I guess, screen itself, or even on your watch as well. This is super useful, by the way, because it allows you to customize things. If you only want specific apps to be available to you during this work focus, then you could customize that and make that a reality. Let's actually go ahead and choose specifically which ones I would like to actually have. Now, I don't mind having uh, creating a new page here, for example, or we get to choose Use some of these pages that I have already. So for example, I think that one would be useful. Um, I can go ahead and select this one. I think it would be good to have that one active as well. Don't need any shopping, so I won't have that one. Don't need the travel. The health one might be pretty cool to have. Always good to have those. Um, otherwise, I think settings, don't need the finance one. So yeah, I can then go ahead and click on done. Now I've added a whole custom set of pages that are specific to me whilst I'm working. I don't need any of the other distractions. I could choose a different watch face if I wanted to, one that is maybe just really to the point. I choose that one right there. We'll just click on done. And then I can go ahead and choose a different home page as well if we want. Now I've got something really basic like this. So there's minimal distractions. We have all those kind of elements. We just go ahead and click on add. And I'm just going to uh, set it as a pair of wallpapers like so. Okay, sweet. So far, I've added no people. I've added no applications, so there's no distractions there. I have a different uh, screen, home screen, and I have a different set of uh, pages that I can navigate to and hiding a lot of my applications. Also simplified my Apple Watch at the same time. Now we have a schedule here if we want to, or we can do smart activation. So basically, I think for the most part, I usually just turn these things on and off myself as I see fit. Um, so I'm not going to add a schedule here because it's a little bit erratic for me. Now, other than that, we have other kind of filters. We'll get rid of those. And I think that's going to be it. So now what I can do is we can see here that it is indeed set up. We have work. It was all there sorted. Now, in order to activate this, I come down to uh, the page right here where I can pull this down. You can see that this has focus mode. I'll just hold that down for a second and I can go ahead and turn it into work mode. And now, as you can kind of see, guys, we are now in a work mode. And you can see 
see that I have a limited number of pages available to me. Although I can get to the other apps, it's not as easily found. So this is a great way to basically now mute all of those annoying notifications whilst you're working, streamlining the things that you have to see and have access to whilst you are recording as well. So hopefully this has been quite helpful for you guys. And so guys, it is honestly as easy as that to set up your work kind of profile or however kind of want to look at it but your focus time that limits all of those annoying distractions so that you can get all of the tasks that you need to get done quickly so if you found this useful and informative smash that like button hit subscribe for more hints and tips and i will catch you all in the next one